Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now we are going to focus on those Easter baskets and some toys that you can fill them up with. In fact, play is very important for child development and here to tell us all about what you can put in that basket to help encourage the senses and encourage play with young children is Jennifer Lynch. She is a toy industry specialist. Jennifer, thanks for being here today. How are you? I'm good. So happy to be here. I'm excited to be talking about this. Tell me more about why experts recommend play for young children. Well, play has so many different benefits from uh, helping to develop fine and gross motor skills when kids are younger, to engaging them in imaginative play, getting them up, active, moving off the couch. Lots of different ways that um, play benefits kids. And, you know, it's not just for kids, it's for all ages, really. And what are some must-haves to put in those Easter baskets that will stimulate this type of play? So one uh, option for stimulating creative play is the Scribble Scrubbies Arctic Pets Collection from Crayola. It comes in this really adorable little portable uh, igloo uh, container that opens up to reveal a fun little play set. But the real fun of Scribble Scrubbies is the pets themselves. This one has an Arctic theme, so we've got this little Arctic seal. There's also an Arctic wolf, but you can color. It's got a flat texture that you can actually draw on and color, create different designs. But the real fun of it is when you dip it into water because it creates an entirely clean surface you can repeat and draw over and over again and there's a color change feature so when you dip it into warm water it's going to turn from blue to white um, and then back again so really fun um, engaging kids in creative play um, building play is another great option for the Easter basket. The Lego John Deere tractor set um, is a personal favorite um, for Easter baskets this year. They worked with um, John Deere to create this tractor. So it is true to true to form, true to life. It's got big chunky wheels to it. Uh, it's got that classic green and yellow um, design to it. But what I also like is because it's part of the Lego Technic collection, this is a great introduction to engineering concepts um, because it features working features, mechanisms, so kids are getting a little bit of learning as they build, and this one, again, families can do together. And according to the National Retail Foundation, families will be spending an average of $170 for Easter baskets this year. That's a higher dollar amount than I would have thought, especially as an average. So that is good news. Tell us more about what that money is going to be spent on and how it is a great thing that we're seeing people spending more, actually. Yeah, you know, um, play and toys are a great way to fill up Easter baskets this year. And we're seeing people willing to put the money towards toys simply because, uh, especially throughout the pandemic, we saw the value in play and families being able to turn to play and toys to offer a little bit of extra social emotional support and benefits. Um, for example, um, social emotional support stuffed animals are really perfect for Easter baskets. And you obviously think Easter bunny, but what's great about um, the Squishmallows collection is there's a thousand different squishy characters to choose from to fill an Easter basket with. I've got some of the uh, wildlife collection with me. We've got antelope. There's an orangutan over there with a fuzzy texture. Super soft and cuddly. And what I also like about these is that they're for birth and up. So if you've got a little one at home, like myself, that's celebrating their first Easter, these are a really fun option to fill up the Easter basket. Um, another great idea is to... Um, look towards um, activity toys as well. So, um, you know, when you think of content creation, we obviously think YouTube these days, but you can create your own content, hands-on content with some of these kits. So with the mini Clay World um, candy cart, you've got the sugar-free alternative. So we've got this little cart that you can create out of cardboard, really fun and engaging for kids, but there's clay creations that you can make. So you can make little gob stoppers, you can make little um, Twizzlers and candy. So again, parents are gonna like that sugar-free alternative. All these all look great for children of all ages, actually. Where can we get more information? So you can head over to thegeniusofplay.org for more great play ideas. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer Lynch, for being here today. I really love all of your suggestions, and I appreciate the conversation about encouraging play and how important that is for child development. We'll be back with more here on Mountain Connections right after this.